and the state's anti-biking laws. Hundreds of riders insists it, insist it was just a peaceful protest and deny it was designed to intimidate police. Pippa Sheehan has more. It's a metaphorical middle finger to lawmakers. Now let's do what we love. Let's ride. Around 300 riders gathering for the first run since the launch of the bikey crackdown. As Polair hovered above, police monitored riders on the ground checking licences and vehicles. Obviously we'll be conducting investigations into the, the membership of the ride and if we identify evidence of three or more participants of a criminal organisation we'll be taking enforcement action. Yeah, we're not here to upset anyone or hurt anyone, we're just having a good day you know, with a good group of people. They raise money for a good cause, keep everything going, help all the little kiddies in the hospitals and that. Yeah, what do they do? The government, you know, yep. stops it all. Posters for the event didn't use the words Hell's Angels, displaying instead the number 81, a reference to the eighth and first letters in the alphabet, H and A. Patched bikies say they were acting within the law, staying outside the clubhouse and keeping to just two official members. They say today's event wasn't a show of force, but a protest against the legislation. Yes, there are members of our organisation who have been convicted all right, of um, criminal activity, but that's not all right, um, what this club is about or any club is about. Riders today told us they were willing to work with the new government and with authorities to reach a positive outcome. The new Palaszczuk government has already started a review of the legislation. They probably needed to clean the pipes. We need law and order to exist as a society. However, it needs to be equal all right, across the board and it also needs to be based on evidence. It was brought in by the Newman government as a political stunt to create a diversion from the bad polls they were getting at the time because of their public service sackings. Pippa Sheehan, 10 Eyewitness News. And joining us now for an update on all the latest...